Next question is from Aaron Kirsch7. What is better, raw or cooked vegetables? What are the benefits or detriments of both? This is so funny. The the whole <laughs> raw versus cooked uh, debate, I think, is so silly um, because people don't they don't understand the total yeah. context. It's about food. assimilation and what you can digest. Well, it, yeah. it all came from when people started sharing the the research around when you cook the vegetables, you lose some of the nutrients. Yes. Yeah. And so, and when we study them like that, so if you look at something that's been boiled for 15 minutes and you compare it to it in its raw form, the raw form, just looking at it like that, looks like it's more nutrient dense. It's got it's got more nutrient value. Mm -hmm. But then I know where Sal's going to go right now, which is. The whole digestive process has to come. But in. at face value, it looks like it's it's you know obviously you've gotten rid of nutrients, so it's, it's a worse option. Yeah, right. it's like okay, look if I you could look at a rock outside and, and analyze it, and it's full of minerals. Does that mean you're going to eat the rock <laughs> yeah. and get all those minerals? No, it'll destroy you. You know, here's the interesting thing about plants. So animals have they've evolved to have their own defense mechanisms. You got to remember that humans are the apex predators uh, on Earth, and we have been for a long time. Animals evolved having sharp teeth, hooves, they can run fast, they can move, they've got good hearing, sight, and smell. Plants don't go anywhere. So how did, what kind of evolution, what, how did they evolve to defend themselves? Well, they evolved with you know, compounds that made them difficult to digest or compounds that made them uh, actually poisonous in many cases. For example, uh, we eat wheat all the time. Humans have been eating wheat for you know, t you know, tens of thousands of years. Uh, especially re relatively recently. But if you were to go outside and grab some wheat and you didn't grind it and mill it and process it and you just ate it, it would shred you. It would totally shred your gut. Uh, potatoes. We've been eating potatoes forever. Potatoes are one of, a staple in, in most modern societies. If you picked a raw potato and ate it, it would destroy your gut. Though we cooked plants as a way of neutralizing a lot of these defense mechanisms. This is how humans were able to consume lots of plants. The way humans consume wheat is we mill the shit out of it. Yeah. Even back in the day, they would grind so wheat like powders, yeah. forever. And then we would cook it, and then we would boil it, and, and that's how we're able to unlock the nutrients and eat them. Plants, uh, a lot of plants are this way. Look, you can even do this experiment. Go eat two, a cup or two cups of raw broccoli see how you feel, then go eat one or two cups of very well-cooked broccoli and see how you feel. Notice your digestion, notice your bloat, notice how you feel. It makes a huge difference. So cooking vegetables is one of the best ways you can get you know, to be able to consume a lot of vegetables and unlock those nutrients. Yes, you destroy a lot of nutrients in the plants uh, when you cook them, but it doesn't matter. You're not you're you're neutralizing a lot of these compounds that cause issues. It doesn't matter if you can't assimilate the raw ones, anyways. It, and it doesn't matter if yeah. it affects you negatively. Now, the plants that you can eat raw and you don't need to cook are typically are fruit. Mm -hmm. Fruit are and here's why. Why can we eat fruit without cooking them? Because plants evolved creating these fruits so that animals would eat them and so they put like out the seeds. Yeah. yeah. It's like that's what they wanted. They want yeah. but roots, leaves, especially stems and roots. Those are typically very difficult, not impossible to digest. And if you look at animals that survive just on plants, they chew. Look at cows, right? They chew the shit out of out of grass. And then they, they have two stomachs. It's four, I think. Four. Four, four, four. Yeah. Then they digest a little bit. And then they spit it. They put it back in their mouth. Chew it some more. Bring it back down. And they chew it some more. But and they get gnarly farts. They they yeah. get gnarly <laughs> farts. So no, it's it's silly to to this whole raw versus cooked debate. Um, you're better off cooking uh, your vegetables, especially if you eat a lot of vegetables. And of course, some of them are fine eating raw. There's like lettuce and, and you know stuff like that. But otherwise, carrots. Yeah, otherwise you're better off uh, cooking your vegetables.